Ready everyone, welcome to another Vegas Pro tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you how you can add timer into your video, whether normal one or countdown timer. So let's go for it. Okay, so first of all, let's say this is our video to which we want to add timer. This is one of my older Valorant videos, but let's say that we want to add timer to this video. In this case, first of all, we need to get the length of this video. We have to know how long this video is. That means I will double click on this dark gray area to actually select all video part that we want to use timer for. As you can see at the bottom right, this video have 14 minutes and 56 seconds. This is very good to know. So next step is then click on the video track, but actually on the free space, not on the video itself but on the free track so that means right to the video we are going to use timer for so that means right click and then we will click on insert video track thanks to this we just added new empty video track then what we want to do is right click on this empty video track that we just created and then click on insert text media here next we just simply delete the text and then set the duration to the length of our video. If you kept selected our video length, it's simple because in this case, the duration is actually set to the length of the video. And as you can see, when I will close this, it's actually the new text file that is here, which is actually empty. So we cannot see anything through the video, but the new file is as the same length as the original video. In case you would just insert new video track and then insert the text media as you can see the original length of the video is only five seconds that means again i will just delete the sample text and as you can see at the video track it's not like the full 14 minutes long but only five second part so for this first of all we have to set the duration to the same length as the old video was that means 40 minutes 56 seconds oh five now we can simply click enter and close this file as you can see it's still five second long it's not 14 minute long but for this you will simply hold the side and make it long enough but watch out be careful do not hold left side of the bar and drag it to the left because you would destroy the timer simply move this empty text file to the start of your video and then drag the right side of this like text till you will hit the level of how your video is long as you can see now it's actually 14.56.05 same as our video so as you could see we reached the same result as before but it took so much more work to make this happen so you already know how to create this empty text file Next, we are going to add times code to this empty text media. So we will click right and then we will go to media FX. Here, as you can see, we can choose out of multiple options. In our case, we will choose Vegas times code and then just click on OK. As you can see, timer occurred at our video. Now we can choose out of multiple options how we want timer to be shown, where to be shown, how to be shown and yeah that's actually it so in our case i will set time to actually showing the time of the video as you can see the time of the video is nine minutes and 10 seconds and it's actually the same time as it's occurring on the screen then you can choose where you want to have this time if you want to have it at the right left middle or whatever and also you can align it vertically that means at the top at the bottom at the middle or whatever else you want so let's say we want to keep it at the bottom right so we can close this and now as you can see we have added timer to our video nextly of course there is much more what you can do with this first of all let's say for example that you want to delete this black background of the timer for this simply go to video fx and then find the chroma here then you will simply drag the default on your video track in which you have the timer applied. that means here and as the background is not blue in this case but black you will simply click on this blue part and just drag this to the black or you can also use this tool 
to actually measure the color of the background to delete it properly. But as we know that it's black, it's easy for us to choose the color and simply use the chroma here tool. So this is how we actually deleted the background. Next let's say that we don't want it to be timer, but more like countdown timer. That means it will go from 14 minutes till the zero. So for this you will simply right click again on the part of the video where you added your time code and then you will go to insert remove envelope and click on velocity. As you can see the velocity green line occurred at our video track. So if we want to make it not like normal timer but countdown you can simply hold the green line and drag it to the bottom of this track. And as you can see, now it's actually going from the 14 minutes up to zero. So I already showed you how you can delete the background, how you can make it countdown timer and normal timer as well. Now I'm just simply going to show you how to make this counter bigger and for example, center it to the middle of your monitor and delete some of the numbers you don't want to use. Okay, so in case you don't want to have just this kind of small timer at the bottom right corner, you can again go, this is our first, like this empty text media, but whatever. So we will right click again, media FX, time code, and you will make the timer bigger and centered towards the mid. So in our case, you will set time, you will set middle, you will set middle vertically, horizontally, width and high you will set to maximum and now as you can see the timer is actually centered and it's like at a max size that it can be at the moment but we can do easy trick then you will click on this icon event pan slash crop and here we can easily just zoom the screen to actually make the timer even bigger so now you will just drag those corners to towards the middle and as you can see the timer is becoming bigger and bigger let's say this is the size we want to have and next let's say that we don't want to see all of the numbers of the timer so we don't want to see those decimals or those zeros so for this you can easily click on this mask here and then you will choose one of the tools you want to use in my case it's this rectangle and you will drag one rectangle on the screen as you can see now we can see something like this but this is not all we want to see we want to see only the 10 and a 50 so this is almost optimal now just a little bit shorter and voila now you have timer at the middle of the screen bigger so you can easily use this one now you could of course delete the background as i already showed you or just simply set one colored background or whatever else what you would like to do okay ladies and gentlemen that's all for this video really hope you found it what you were looking for hope you are good and video fine thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time